Francis Bacon. Actually, we're looking at three Francis Bacons. This is one work of art, but in three large painted panels. It's a triptych. In fact, that's the title. Normally, when I think about a triptych, I think about a Renaissance or a medieval altarpiece that's in three panels that are connected and therefore something that is spiritual, a religious scene. But here we are in the 20th century using that format. But there is something dark and spiritual about these images. turn into branches and leaves. And as he wraps his hand around her abdomen, he touches only the bark that forms around her. I mean, this is all about not attaining beauty and Apollo's passion. Almost having the thing that you want in your hands and having it slip out at that very moment when you attain it. When we make new smart history content, first we do research. We're art historians, remember, and we want to make sure that we're up on the most recent scholarship. We record a lot of our conversations in New York City's museums because that's where we're located. And then, whenever it's possible, we travel to museums in other countries. We take our own photos when museums allow it, and we try to include as many close-ups and details as possible. We use these photographs along with other copyright-free images of the artwork that we've discussed. We're there in a museum or a church, surrounded by other visitors, and we get to really look closely at the work of art and let it inspire us. We use a number of different kinds of editing software in order to bring photography, the video, and the audio together to make smart history content. When we finish producing the video, we upload it to our server and to Vimeo, and we create a new page on the Smart History website. We spend some time hunting down the best links we can find so that our visitors can continue learning about the works of art we've discussed. We also upload our photos to the Smart History Flickr group, and we use other social media networks to distribute our work. Conversation, the soul of education.